Hola mis amigos, shimmy shimmy shimmy. Ooh, I'm bringing the shimmy from the vlog to the Betsy V lifestyle. <laughs> Just in case you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a daily vlog channel. We, you follow our everyday lives and we're like penguin obsessed. So we always do the shimmy shimmy and I've never done the shimmy shimmy on this channel. So I'm introducing it to you guys. I hope you guys like it. Penguin obsessed people, yes. Bring it here. So today's video is going to be strictly on puberty. There is an amiga, Kate, who follows this channel and she really wanted me to do a video on puberty. And I told her I was going to think about it and I decided why not do it because I actually do have experience and I went through puberty. I know I don't look like I did because I'm so young and vibrant, but I did. And so I just always want, I always like helping you guys and giving you guys advice and just talking because that's what I like to do best. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna go, go down the line of puberty, what happens during puberty, how to make you guys feel better about it because it's a sucky, sucky stage. Um, I feel like the girls go through all the bad things like, you know, with acne and breasts and facial hair and smells. And men, all they do is get the handsome, sexy, low voice and the high and they just get hot and us girls we suffer <laughs> we suffer for quite a few years and then finally when it's all done and over with we're like ah oh, thank you to my big beautiful breath that i now have and you feel happy about that but in the beginning when you're 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 it is really tough to go through so hopefully this video is going to prepare you guys on if you're already at that stage it's just going to help you just feel relieved and give you some tips on what to do with each stage of puberty. So height is one of the issues that occur during puberty. Um, I don't know why you would complain about height. I hope you guys aren't. Um, obviously puberty didn't really hit me because I'm a little, little petite. I'm a 5'1 girl and I was always hoping to be like 5'6", tall and lean but that never happens i'm actually happy and petite not all the time there's times where i'm like dang i want to be up there like you and there's times where i've dated guys and the petiteness helps it works because it's like ah oh, there we go i can reach you and give you a little kiss and plus if you're super tall like a giant you could be a victoria's secret model wow <sighs> Weight gain is another one. Uh, that's not fun at all. I remember I was gaining weight, especially when I was with the McDonald's at the age of 14. That was not fun. I was just chunky all around. Um, and during that time, you know, it's all about looks at that age for kids. And people tease you like, oh, you're getting big. You're getting chubby here, you know. And it sucks, but you just have to deal with it and know eventually that it'll lean out. Everything will distribute evenly. Okay, it's, it's okay guys. So working at McDonald's didn't help me at all. I mean, all I was doing was eating fries and McFlurry M&M's and Oreos and burgers and nuggets and chicken wings because back then they had chicken wings at McDonald's, mm -hmm. mozzarella sticks. So if it's a huge issue and you're dealing with issues of weight gain, definitely start eating cleaner, a lot of water, no sodas. I don't drink soda at all. The only soda I will drink is ginger ale and that's once in a while and an Inca Cola, which is a Peruvian drink. I mean, it's amazing. Like I have to drink that when I see it sometimes. But other than that, like it's a rare occasion for me to drink soda eat healthier and that's hard especially at that age because all you want to eat is sweets and sugars and it's amazing but you can still eat that just try not to overindulge too much in that because that's definitely not going to help in your weight gain at that age at any age your body shape is definitely going to change you're going to develop hips your waist might get smaller too and that's a good thing i have a friend I had a friend. She's still my friend. But back then, when we were going through puberty, she got a butt. Like, she got a big butt. I was like, oh my gosh, you're eating your big butt. That's when butts weren't really in. Um, and she was just always embarrassed and shy. I'd be like, why are you embarrassed over it, girl? Be happy about your body. Like, especially if you're getting like an hourglass figure. I mean, that's amazing. Why would you complain about that? I wouldn't complain about that. So chill. Maybe at this age, because a lot of other kids at your age are not being are not developing as quickly as you are so it's a little embarrassing i understand because i went through that and this goes into the next one is developing breasts i know a lot about this hello i was i was in fourth grade 
So that makes me nine. I think I was like nine or eight. And I was developing breasts by sixth grade. I was like a C. Well, everybody else was an A and B. And I got made fun of a lot. Like, you would run and they, you know, they juggle up and down. It's very embarrassing because no one else is going through it. I was the only one going through it and I was super embarrassed. I hated my body. I would always try to wear like sports bras and try to hide my boobs. I wouldn't run. If I ran, I'd run like this. You know, like I just hated it. Um, eventually when we got into high school though, all those girls that were making fun of me because I had big breasts wanted my big boobs. So, booyah in your face and you've got nothing. Okay to be shy over it, I'm not saying just get over it and flaunt them, I never flaunt them. Um, but just ignore them because eventually in a few years, they're gonna hate on you and your boots. Mm -hmm. This isn't fun at all. You start getting an increase in hair, so hair starts developing in places that you don't want it to develop because it's gross because you think that guys and boys and men only get hair. But no, when you start getting hair too in places that you didn't expect. Yeah, down there too. All you can do is shave, shave the unwanted hair. I know it's just shaving your arms and stuff. I have hair on my arms. Um, and I don't never shave them. Although I would love to have like no hair on my arms. I was just always scared that it would come back darker and it come back spiky and when they grow in they come in spiky so I don't recommend shaving your arms I do recommend shaving your armpits in your little garden down there hope you guys know what I'm talking about and definitely shaving your legs yeah. and with all the uh, nastiness of hair growing in you're also gonna start sweating a lot because you have a lot more body fats and hair also develops sweats so you're gonna start Stinking a lot. No way around that either. There's no magic pill. But there is deodorant. And there's deodorant that has scents and deodorant that has non scented. I am still dealing with sweating a lot now. You know, since having two kids, like, there's a hormonal imbalance in me that I start sweating a lot. And it starts stinking. Now, like, my armpits really stink. So, what helps me is unscented deodorants. Ooh, okay, I'm back, I'm back. I had to get the deodorant. All right, so there's two types of deodorant that have helped me. Um, besides, that are not, that are non, um, scented. And that is Mitchum, which I've used when I was a little girl, and I loved it. It just does not let you sweat. It has no scent, so it's like, no, your sweat doesn't smell. I don't know, it was weird. Because I don't think it has, like, a clinically, um, a clinical... Thing inside of it that makes it not sweat if that makes sense but anyways I couldn't find that when I went to the store this weekend and so I found this brand ban oh it is the greatest thing ever it's non scented they have scented ones as well but it's a 24 hour invisible protection and my pits my armpits have not smelled for three days now three days now three days now I love it I just feel like the scented ones as much as I love them I've used like the Dove and um what other brands have i used the speed no that's men's whatever i've used other deodorants that have scents because they smell so good and they haven't been working lately so i went to this one that has unscented unscented for some reason just works on my pits it doesn't i haven't been sweating and i have not been smelling so i definitely recommend this there's going to be changes in your genital area um, my things are gonna change down there. I don't really want to talk about that. I feel like you should talk to your mom about that But just know that things are gonna change on there as well So don't get scared and one of the things also that's gonna change down there is you're gonna get something called Miss flow It's not fun at all guys you bleed once a month for four to seven days Depending I don't know depends on the individual how long you get it for but it's super gross and you're gonna have to invest in pads which is like a diaper, wearing a diaper, and which I always grew up on was pads because my mom was like, she did not like tampons because there's like cancer components in it and they could get stuck inside of you. And I didn't know a girl in school that had a tampon stuck inside of her. But now I've been using a tampon because it's just more comfortable. Like when you're grown, you want to go out and feel comfortable. Like you want to wear a dress to the club or something like that. Tampons is the bomb.com. But at this age, I would just say pads just to be safe if you want to whatever but there's two types tampons and pads and it sucks to get your period but you're gonna get it deal with it deal with it it's gonna happen 
behavior is also gonna change. You're gonna become a B I T C H. I think we all do because we just have so much hormones in us. We don't know what to do. We become mean, aggressive, selfish. It's just a whole bunch of uh, excuse me emotions that you're not gonna know how to deal with them, and you're gonna be like, why do I feel like this? And it's gonna get me more upset. You know, um, it's okay. It happens. Just wusa wu wusa wu. Hopefully it doesn't get the best of you and you guys can try to figure out your emotions. It's really hard at that age because you're like, what is this emotion called jealousy? What is this emotion called depression? And it's just better to talk to somebody. I don't want you guys thinking crazy thoughts and doing things, harming yourselves. Just definitely talk it out if that's something that you're dealing with. Acne, whiteheads, blackheads, red spots, and oh, it's just awful. All of it is awful. It sucks. Acne sucks. Um, but that is definitely part of puberty and the only way to deal with that is trying to talk to your doctor to see if there's any way to you know fix the problems about that um drink a lot of water water is so good for you and i know you hear that a lot I'm like well i drink a glass here and there and nothing happens well you have to drink about a glass a day um a good glass a day i don't i don't even drink a glass a day sometimes because i totally forget but if you could like fit in two glasses a day of water i mean that would be amazing definitely start using skincare products washing your face before bed after bed or when you wake up using sunscreen to protect your skin from the sun talking to a doctor to see this like i said before like if there's any recommendations if it's really really that bad moisturize and all that good stuff so those are some tips on how to deal with acne hopefully you guys take that into consideration when i took my period i said take mydol greatest thing on earth i love that you take it as soon as you see some spotting so it actually works from when you're on your period Mydol was, I don't, do they even make Mydol anymore? Because my cramps aren't that bad anymore. Like, I'm able to deal with it now as a as a woman. But back then, as a kid, I was like, oh my god. I was popping like two to three Mydol a day. No, I'm kidding. But, you know, you just take the recommended amount that they say. It was a joke, guys. You take the recommended amount that they suggest, okay? Oof. I'm done. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I gave you enough information on purity what to expect when you're expecting no what to expect when you're expecting and what you're dealing with now i've been there done that it's okay guys you're gonna survive i survived as you see um and yeah that's something i want to have to deal with again when my daughter turns 10 11 12 13 14 15 or 16. i'm not looking forward to that but mis amigos that's all I've got for you. Te quiero, te amo, te adoro. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment below as to what else you want me to talk about. I'm always up for suggestions. If you guys have any tips to add for the other amigos, also let, them, let that be known in the comments below. Definitely check out our daily vlog channel to see more of me. To see more of her. And to see more of him if you want. He's that. He's a featured star. He's not the star but he's a feature star but if you still want to see him make sure to check out our daily live channel that's that tv te quiero te amo te adoro mis amigos and i shall see you next week or on our daily vlog channel as i said adios <laughs>